Aquarius, what an interesting and interesting. Oh yes, I do mean interesting as in intriguing. We've got a lot of stuff going on astrologically and I'm gonna point it out to you. So Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries Tarot. My name is Michelle. This is the premiere of two YouTube two channels that I have. So I also have a YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. I hope you'll join me there. That's where I go live Monday through Friday. I do live tarot and interactive. It's so cool. So I hope you guys can join me just at Astrology Motivation. You'll find it. There's also always an extended reading for this video. Yes, there is because it's important. And I hope you guys can join me because they're fantastic messages. So you can just click the link at the end of this video, get right to it, or there'll be links in the description box and I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. I'll make it easy to find. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Overall, it is an energy reading. So please, it comes to you when it's supposed to and take it where it resonates in your life. In fact, feel free at any time during this video to comment down below and share with me where it's resonating in your life. Because even love situations to your natal chart, they can translate into something going on in your work life. You know wherever it resonates for you. If you love this video, please remember to like the video and then share it on your social media platforms and subscribe to the channel so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Um, and if you really, 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 really love me, go find Astrology Motivation as well. Okay, so we do have cards on the table and I'm already looking at them. Let's, let's, let's talk about the astrology. For those of you, because in Aquarius right now we have we have two planets. We have the Sun, which is a uh, luminary, and then we have Saturn, which is one of the big papas. So, and by big papa, I really do mean papa. He is the father of the zodiac. He is the lawmaker, the rule maker, and the disciplinarian. So for those of you, I'm looking at my little, cause I write it down. Yes, I do. I don't have a memory like a steel trap. I have a memory like, a bucket with a hole in it. That's what I have. So we have Saturn is at 25 degrees Aquarius. What that means is for those of you who are born with your natal sun at 25 degrees Aquarius, or I would say maybe like 22 degrees Aquarius, anywhere between 22 and 28 degrees Aquarius, Saturn is sitting right on your natal sun. It's conjunct your natal sun. So it's combining your energy um, with, with it. What does that mean? It means that First of all, you're gonna get a lot more serious about life. You're gonna get a lot more authoritative about your convictions and your purpose in life. And you're gonna have the energy to take things more seriously and commit to long-term building of what you now know and uh, is important to you. So yeah, you are much more likely to, um, excuse me for that, you are much more likely to commit yourself to things, you know, and, and not be afraid of it and know what you want. It's almost like a, a feeling of maturity and growing up that is happening with you right now. And maybe even really kind of knowing yourself better than you've ever really known yourself. Interestingly enough, it is you guys whose natal sun is conjunct current Saturn Saturn is also square to Uranus, and Uranus is your ruling dignitary Aquariuses. So now Saturn is also your traditional ruler, right? But your modern ruler is Uranus, and Uranus is still in Taurus. And for you guys, it is square to the it is square to uh, Uranus. What does that mean? We're going to go over this because I really need to talk to you about it. Um, this is sort of oppositional behavior. You guys will kind of have the challenge. The square is the challenge. So this is like your your test or your challenge. Um, your challenge will come from trying too hard to be different or weird, right? Or not liking yourself because you think you're not different or unique enough. Like, it'll be that challenge that's coming to you. Like, I, I have to be different. I have, I have to be unique. You have to be you. You is as unique as you could possibly be, right? So ultimately, what does that mean? It means that the kids in school, high school, middle school, who used to dress differently than the popular way to dress, were really just being oppositional. Because if you're if you're you're still letting you're still letting what's outside of you dictate who you are. 
if you are rebelling against it and doing exactly the opposite. You're still letting others control you and decide who you are. The most unique you could be is deciding who the heck you are and just be that. But the challenge will come. There will be friction to help you see and to see and to where you can where you can strengthen your conviction in yourself and to challenge your own you your real uniqueness, which is am I really being true to myself? Am I really being true to my heart? Okay? For those of you who have uh, more mid, mid Aquarius birthdays, so if your natal sun is 12 degrees to 19 degrees in Aquarius, the current sun right now and through most of this week is going to be conjunct your natal sun. That means superpower, like conviction. Conviction, strength of purpose, energy, and even visibility, notoriety people seeing you and recognizing you perhaps more than they ever have love it so now that we've gotten through the astrology let's go into the tarot because i already got three cards down here and i've been sneaking peeks at them let me show you we have the two of pentacles what does this mean well literally it could mean challenge with money trying to balance out money or differences in your financial status or what you're doing financially for yourself just differences going on there i'm um, trying to balance things out it doesn't mean that things are bad it just means that you're having a challenge adjusting to this new income or new way of making money or maybe not even money maybe just you're having trouble adjusting maybe not even having trouble, you're just adjusting. And so it's, you're trying to get your sea legs on and, and navigate this new environment that you don't have a natural balance for. So you're trying to establish the balance and sort of it's just transitional energy and you're on shaky legs, but it could also mean that you are challenging yourself and that's a wonderful thing. Then we have Queen of Swords, which is you guys. This is that sharp-minded conviction of I know where I'm headed and I see really clearly where the opportunities are and what the right direction for me is. And then we have, this could also represent some sort of counselor or somebody giving you advice. And then we have Knight of Wands. So this is your making a decision about what your next move is and you're making decisions about where, uh, following your heart. Should I follow my, I think you already decided that you're following your heart. Now, when I say following your heart, it does not automatically indicate that I am talking about a romantic relationship because following your heart, that's not what it is. Your heart tells you where God wants to lead you. Your heart is the megaphone for your soul and your soul is a little piece of God that lives inside of you. So it doesn't speak your language, right? So it's gotta be, it's gotta be translated through the heart and the heart heart will tell you and translate what the soul is trying where the soul is trying to push you where the soul is tugging you the 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 heart will do that so listening to your heart and taking the chance and just going for it this guy right here is i mean he he represents an energy of just get to it so focused and so passionate he's charging full speed ahead and this is fantastic energy for following your dreams and following your passions because this guy this guy right here get her done that's what it is it could even mean advancement or conviction or seeing a clear path forward when it comes to your dreams or your goals or you know what you're currently working on this also could be a shaky situation if you take this as people then this is you especially if you are a feminine aquarius I won't say female necessarily, but feminine Aquarian, um, trying to make up their mind about a younger, um, a younger fire sign. Now that could be your child, or it could be about, I don't know, somebody you're involved with, depending on how, not too young. <laughs> um, but ultimately this is a sense of, you're not quite sure about what to do with this person. They seem to be coming toward you, but you're kind of like, you don't really know really if this is a good idea. So let's get into what else this could be. Aquarius, we have, okay. <laughs> I was like, what else this could be? And the universe responds. 
So, I don't know about y'all. Is some, somebody out there having a May-December relationship or you're trying to figure out maybe what you're attracted to or if you're attracted to somebody who is clearly attracted to you because this motherfucker is looking right at you. I don't know about signs or anything like that. I don't really care, to be honest with you, about the signs. It's just somebody that has, like, uh, like is just coming at you full steam ahead. This is a real attraction. But you're sitting back there all kinds of cool, calm, and collected like and you could flip these energies too maybe you're not the cool calm collected one maybe you're the one that knows exactly what they want and you're just like kind of awkwardly bull in a china shop going for it all right this is taking a turn this is taking a turn and usually my videos don't take this turn so i'm just gonna roll with it um this is an offer of love so this is also a sense of okay I'm going to give you multiple interpretations for this. This is an offer of love, just showing love, opening your heart, opening yourself up and letting somebody know how much you care about a situation or about them. This could also mean that there is an attraction and there are two potentials here, one that is coming on real strong and one that is a little bit more aloof one that is all about passion and sexuality and the other that's all about poetry and romance so these are two different people and maybe you are trying to figure out how to get these two people together or try to get them to harmonize if they represent two different sides of yourself you're trying to convey something convey how much you love something when you really just want to jump at it <laughs> let's get a moon card because somebody's got me feeling emotions, okay? So I'm gonna have to go into the moon and see what the heck is going on. We do have a full moon that's coming and the full moon is in Leo. It's gotta be in Leo because we're in Aquarius season. So the full moon in Leo coming up, so that could be the clash, the clash of your passion, right? The clash of what you desire versus what you know is the right decision to make right? And somehow you're kind of paused and you're thinking, well, there's a reason why I've paused, right? There must be something giving you pause about a situation or about someone to make you think, am I making my decisions with my heart, with my head, or with my genitals? I'm just putting it out there. Adjustments are required. Bam. That's what the moon is telling you. Adjustments are required. But this is a little bit ambiguous. I don't like ambiguity. Let's get into, <laughs> hello. Um, what adjustments need to be, what adjustments? What, what adjustments, where, how, why, what, what, what? Adjustments about, uh, something about your family, decisions that you're making about your family that you consider to be very, very important. Um, um, their direction forward or oh okay I just heard this this is very specific and Capricorn was very specific too that's really interesting this is almost like oh there's a hidden card oh I love that I love when that happens um so the cards came out like this judgment and the chariot so a decision to move forward maybe I was gonna say you're trying to decide how am I going to have a family moving forward? Are we going to have a family moving forward? Do I want to increase my family moving forward? Something about that because now, but the hidden card was this, the hidden card was the four of swords, which means that you're trying to reflect upon something. You're thinking about something or you're trying to make peace of maybe a decision that you made in the past or maybe about trying to make up for wrongs that were done in the past or trying to sort of reconcile some situation with maybe a mother figure, right? And trying to do things better than they did for you. Maybe you're seeing a lot of your parents in yourself and you're trying to just be better or make a better decision. That could be too. It could be a very in internal struggle adjustments are required a sense of i'm trying to adjust i don't want to be like specific people or or my parents you could be being too hard on yourself i'm telling you right now go back to the astrology especially for those of you who um have that natal sun around 12 degrees aquarius you are square uranus so there could be conflict when it comes to, am I different enough? How different am I? Will I ever fit in? And that could be about what it is, trying to sort of 
reconcile all of those things but there's a sense of adjustments are required so if you are trying to change your family change your family karma or just change how your family looks some of you what i heard in my head is do i want children do i do i want to have children at all do i want to do my own thing or do i want to commit to this traditional thing like do i want to have more children it could be something like how do i make pro progress because judgment is about something you know getting a new life something like a choice a big decision that is life changing like like being selected could be being the selected one to heal different wounds in your family because now you have the insight as to how you're going to do it oh. and that square could mean especially for y'all that have that square to uranus right now um that square could mean that you're becoming super sensitive to the adjustments that have to be made Hold on though, we have two more cards that came out. We have Queen of Wands and we have Queen of Pentacles. You got a lot of people. You got a lot of people coming up for you. So these are mature, usually adult feminines. So this is fire sign, earth sign. Somebody who takes themselves very seriously. Somebody who wants prominence and somebody who wants money. And this is that sense of I want prominence and I want money or I want us both to succeed or trying to support somebody else's efforts, which could be conflicting with your efforts and your dreams um, that could be combating right even if you love the person like crazy there could be some competition or not competition but like conflict of interest that it's not competition it's conflict of interest we have the queen of wands the queen of pentacles that suggests two older females not old but older over the age of 30 35 um, people who have their life together, one who is a creative, the other who is managerial, somebody who is very practical, the other who is very passionate, um, somebody who is very attractive and charismatic versus somebody who is extremely um, earthy. Earthy. That doesn't mean they're not attractive, but they're, they're more understated. Their looks would be more understated. I don't know if you're choosing between these two or choosing about try I feel like for you personally you're trying to balance out the qualities of these both um, this could mean for some of you are managing superstardom or trying to manage your new recognition which is especially for those of you later on in Aquarius season um, where your natal Sun is conjunct uh, no, no 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 it's there you mid Aquarians where the Sun is conjunct your natal Sun this is notoriety, so you could be fi trying to figure out, like, how do I handle this newfound attention? The good news is, bitch, please, you get an attention. Yes, that's what it means. And so it's just, how do I do this? Like, how do I do this? Is, let me say this to you. These are really good problems to have. <laughs> I got I'm just gonna be straight. Like if I could pick problems, this would be it. Because these are only problems that come to the successful. These are the only problems that, these are the problems that come when you're adjusting your life to success changes, to changes that have to come from being successful. So congratulations, what was your successful breakthrough in? Please leave your comments below. But I honestly feel that this is about, okay, but how do I balance this out with family? How do I find time to take rest and to also continue to be and uphold my family or my family values and, and what I believe in instead of getting carried away, which can be very difficult. And it could be another lesson. Sometimes you got to get carried away to know to not do it, right? So it could just be, you know, you have to let yourself learn this lesson. Let's get into some details. There's a lot of people on this table, guys. Who should we be listening to? Um, the Hierophant. Somebody that you're married to. Somebody that's in charge. Somebody who holds the, the books, the, uh, the money. Um, could be a Taurus. If you have a Taurus in your life, that could be the Queen of Pentacles. There is a lot of work to be done. There is a lot of extra responsibilities that you're taking on yourself. Because we have the Ten of Wands a lot more financial burdens that you're taking on. It's interesting how as soon as money comes in, it starts to go out. So red flag Aquarius, watch this because don't MC hammer this shit. 
that's what happened. Like he got real popular real quick and he hired everybody from his town. And it was just like, he, he spent it quicker than he could make it. So watch your pocketbook right now because I think you're taking on too many financial burdens. That was definitely a red flag. Don't think, or it could be that you're feeling these new finances are a burden. They're not a burden, guys. They're a blessing. And they're, they're going to challenge you by showing you aspects of yourself, some that you'll be proud of and some that you'll be disgusted by. But those are all opportunities for growth. And we're going to get deeper into this. I hope that you will come along with me. Um, the link to the extended is down below and it's somewhere up above. You'll find it and hopefully I will find you there. See you soon, guys.